having seen stolen for 22 years, Judge Marilyn Millian has ruled over the often raucous the People's Court. As the first Latina judge, she also became its longest reigning, scoring 15 daytime Emmy nominations and four wins. <laughs> And that is not a small claims dispute. Judge Marilyn Millian hasn't seen or ruled over. Take a look. I'm trying to figure so, out which category this case falls into. So I have a very specific question. I know exactly where I'm going because I've been doing this a long, long time. How stupid do you have to be <laughs> to look a judge in the eyes? Do I not look female to you? To a judge. What is it? Like how? Just how few brain cells are holding hands up here for you to say, it didn't bother me because I know how females are, and not think that that might be a bad idea to say to me. I'm not going against the judge's order. Do you hear what I said? Yeah. I'm talking about, I don't think I'm you talking do. talking about real I judges I think I'm talking to a freaking wall. That's what's happening here. I keep talking and nothing's going in your thick head. That's because you're, you're so busy God. trying to be right that you don't understand the position. Get out of my courtroom. Okay. I've had enough with your laughing. Okay. Okay? How does your phone prove that it's not true? Because I have a text asking for the money back. Yeah, that's because you hadn't paid it. No, and your response no, to the text the is, like time. I've said repeatedly, I'll pay you when I get the money. When it was recently announced that the show, whose hashtag has been viewed nearly 77 million times on TikTok alone, was ending after 39 seasons, well, the fans flooded social media praising Judge Millian for her humanity, her integrity, her, her integrity, and her straight shootingness. Is that a word? Because I like it. But Tan Fan, breaking news: just days ago, we learned Judge Millian will be back. A new court show debuting this fall. Court's now in session. Please welcome the Honorable Judge Marilyn Millian. <laughs> Listen, you might be the only judge in history that gets that many smiles and you didn't award anything. Oh, I insist on that every time I walk into a courtroom. <laughs> 22 years in that people's courtroom. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a real blessing. I mean, what what do you think was the secret sauce? Because I think it's obviously you you're quick with it. You just you just hit you it. You know, it's really a team effort, and I, I'm not just saying that to be nice. I mean, we <laughs> we I'm not that nice. Uh, we have uh, uh, so many people who who make that work. Um, from the producers who booked the cases to my executive producer who's amazing and it was just such a labor of love for so long and, and we never took it for granted. I mean, yeah. we knew that we were part of television history. We knew it. And we knew that, you know, we, we kept waiting for the shoe to drop, like kind of, you know, right? Like, well, but you like, kept putting your own stamp on it. One of the things I, I, you know, I'm sure you said many things on the show you can't believe you had to say, but one of my favorite... Had to say. My, my, one I of can't my, believe I got away with saying. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite quotes when you said, I can't believe you came to court to sue a woman who gave you a kidney. Oh, yes. That was two sisters. <laughs> I mean, it's it you you the hits keep coming. You know what though? She was kind of right to sue her sister. I have to say, she, I think she ended up winning. But it was, well, we have but a couple of your nerve. We have a couple of your favorite memorable moments. This one is one of those "What would you do?" cases. Okay, so a parent finds out that their daughter is missing. Yeah. They went to check where she was. They reached out to the boyfriend. The boyfriend said she'd run away. It turned out, though, six days later they found her. The boyfriend's parents had hid her from her own parents. And had lied and had to lied. the police repeatedly. The and mother got charged. The, the, she got criminally charged. The young charged. woman's parents sued for pain and suffering. Right. Let's play what happened here. Take a look. So did you go to their house and talk to them to find out if your daughter we, was there? We or? went the next day and just asked, have they seen her? Did you talk to the boy yourself? The, the boyfriend comes yeah. out. He said that she, uh, when she was saying that she was running away, she said, I'm running away and I'm going to my, a friend of mine's house. And that, I'm and that not she shut off the you. phone and he never heard from her again. Right. And the police were looking for this child. You didn't tell them she was here. 
I thought I was keeping her safe. Because Why? I, because she told me she was being abused. Do you understand that while you kept the location of that child secret, because I don't believe for a second, oh, I told him to, I told him not to have her there. She was found hiding under his bed in your house. 60. Do you understand that there were parents suffering for six days while you did this? So I am ordering Mr. and Mrs. McManus to pay you the $5,000 cap that you are asking for in this courtroom. But again, it's not going to stop until you get that court order. On your counterclaim against them for $2,000, here's a shocker. No. I, I wish you the best of you. luck. This was unbelievable. This was unbelievable. This was unbelievable. This child, she was 14. She ran away from home because her mother threatened to take her cell phone away if she didn't show up for her final exam, mm. which she was going to flunk anyway, so why show? And uh, mother thought, you know, she's letting off steam. She'll come back. She didn't. There was a manhunt. There, was, there were helicopters. There were community. The community was getting together to look for her. You have no idea what these parents went through. And meanwhile, she's hiding in her boyfriend's house under the oh. bed. And mom is lying to the police. Because yeah. mom kept, that mom, the boyfriend's mom, kept being interviewed. She was lying to the police each and I every just, time. I just, I mean, that one had my, my jaw down. The other one that, that uh, we have a clip of, a man gave his girlfriend money or gifts. They broke up. Those are my favorite. He wanted it back. <laughs> Let's play a little of this. How'd you to me? Well, I had taken it initially a couple of times in my taxi. We exchanged numbers. And did you start dating? Not right away. All right, so you start dating how much later? Maybe like three weeks. All right, after. and when's the first time that you transfer money to her, whether it's a loan, as you say, or a gift, as she says? Well, the first time would be when her friend was in trouble with the court in Jersey. Did you ask him for $1,500 because Rebecca had some problem with the courts? I asked him. And he gave it to you and you gave it to Rebecca? Yes. I helped her out plenty to get her back on her feet. How? I, was, I paid a couple of months of credit card payments for her. And then, you know, while there's the promise of one day intimacy, and then the minute there's no intimacy, boom, everything gets canceled, all the credit cards get canceled. That's not why they you got canceled. You gambled and you didn't win the gamble. That's not what happened. You're That's right. exactly what happened. You with zero proof coming to court, trying to make me order her to return all the money you spent on the 27th. That's not all the money which I is spent. A, It's still not going to happen because you don't have any proof that you did anything. So you reap what you sow. Verdict for the defendant. By the way, he was in his, like, mid-60s. He looks good, but he was in his mid-60s, and she was in her 20s. Because, you know, she's like, he's so hot, she's in love with him. <laughs> if that's why she took the money for the breast augmentation and everything else that he was pouring all, you know. And then when there was no intimacy, because that was promised at the four-month mark, and when there was no intimacy, boom, everything's alone. I so did you, did you debate this at all? Well, well I did. debate it because we got a show. <laughs> 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 you know, you got... But, uh, I, yeah, no, I was, I was chomping at the bit for this one. Because oh it's, my... it's emblematic of so many situations where... That's why the show is so great. People are foolish and, and then expect... You know, I'd be so embarrassed. I mean, listen, fine, more power to you. If you can date a hottie who's, you know, a third of your age by paying her, fine. If that's what you want, just don't come crying to me in court later. Oh! Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't don't okay. do it. Coming up. Don't do that. More with Judge Millian's <laughs> new show, her next chapter after the break. Welcome back, Cam. Back with us is the longest serving judge of the People's Court, the Honorable Judge Marilyn Millian. What I love about you is that you always keep evolving. So here you've spent all these years on the People's Court as we know it, and now you've got your next new chapter. Yes, Byron Allen Media Group, and you've got a new court show. Yes, Justice for the People. Justice for the People with Judge Millian. With Judge Millian. <laughs> All right, so tell me about this new show in the ch next chapter here. What's most exciting about it? I, I have to tell you, it, I, I'm look, I do what I do. Yeah. I don't sing and dance. I don't do something else. I am meant <laughs> to do what I do. So yeah. as much... Thank you. 
As much as I love the people's court, once that journey was over, and I always thought that's where I would hang my hat, I just couldn't. Yeah. And, um, and then, you know, up pops Byron Allen, who understands court. He has nine of the 11 court shows on television. He understands that people love court. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, um, and so, you, you know, he scooped up Judge Mathis and Judge Millian, and uh, so tune in in the fall. Tune in in the fall. You know, as you said, and, and, and Byron, it's so funny, Byron Allen is behind uh, Billy Porter's James yes, Baldwin. Yes, I was listening He's to like, that. I'm like, it's like the, the godfather of TV Byron here. Allen. Yeah. But here you are. <laughs> we do love judge shows. We love court shows. But we love you because you bring that whole different level. Thank and you. that's why you're so unforgettable. I also love the fact that you've been with your husband now 30, and 30, 30 years. 30 years. You 30 and John. Years. 30 um, years. And I, for the last three years, John has been on the people's right. court because that, that started, he was retiring from the judgeship in Miami. You posted He's hot, something. Isn't he? He, what, what's that? Well, oh. listen, let me play it. I think we have something you post. Oh, we have, that's just video of you on, that's your anniversary. That's the night of my 30th anniversary in Positano, Italy. Oh my gosh. My daughter posted that. That is so sweet. So 30 yeah. years, what's been the secret? Because you got, you know how to be loyal. To the show, to the yeah. family. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm super lazy. You know? <laughs> no, um, you know, I always tell people when they ask what's the secret to a happy marriage is we have each other's passwords. Um, you know, there's no secrets. There are just no secrets. And we make each other laugh. I think that's really important because that, that sur you can survive anything if you can make survive it together and make Speaking each other laugh. Speaking of laughter, so you posted that video November 30th, 2021 with John, and then we have a little something for you. Your daughter, Sophia, who's 22, uh, uh, and 27-year-old Christina, uh -huh. and 25-year-old Alexandra. Yes. Um, here's, take, take a look at this video. I cut and rocks, and don't let my kids see this, but I thought I was gonna be completely miserable. Right, but he knew that there would be this many hours in the day. Right. Before it was just... We like, can eat where we want, we can go where we want. Right. There's not three other people giving their opinion and not paying. All the right? Time. They're very opinionated. They are, aren't they? Well, like it's my right. fault I'm opinionated. Right? <laughs> they come home and then they'll open up a refrigerator door and say, it's like you people are in college. There's nothing but styrofoam boxes in your room. Oh, there are no groceries. <laughs> There's like an apple core and ramen. Hi, it's your favorite daughter, Christy. And uh, I'm just here to congratulate you on being empty nesters, even though we all know the truth, which is that you will never, ever be rid of us. <laughs> hey, mom and dad, it's your favorite daughter. And I know you guys are just in denial about me leaving the mess, so it's okay. <laughs> but I just want to say that I'm so excited for the new show and for everything that I've had with you guys. Alex here, favorite daughter alert, woohoo! Um, I just wanted to say congrats on the new show. It's so exciting to see where you guys will go. I know it's the end of an era, but nobody could be more proud of you than us, your daughters. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for doing that. That is so sweet. This was, the question they posed to us was, how are you doing with being an empty nester, right? And everybody thought we were gonna be devastated. We were like, woo! <laughs> so, but our life is our own, yes! Especially but you just if you heard them say they're not going anywhere. Oh no, I know, well that's why it's so easy to be an empty nester, because they're in our grill all the time. <laughs> They didn't go. <laughs> and so will we see John on the new show? Yes, yes. as a matter of fact, and um, I'm really excited about it because he brings just a, another dimension into it, and it's it's a lot of banter and Aww. a lot of, um, well, that, we look really happy there, but so. <laughs> Usually we're debating legal issues and sometimes we differ, sometimes we agree, but we always both have a lot of we opinions. We love it. And, yeah, well, yeah. we love you. As I told you, I'm a huge fan um, for many reasons, but I'm so happy to see this new show and congratulations. Thank we you. We love so you. Much. Make sure you check out Justice for the People with Judge Marilyn Million. Check your local stations this fall and be sure to catch the People's Court.